a good morning to all of my students so today we are going to study the biology damage and control of the pest that is the pyrilla parpusilla which is also known as sugarcane leaf hopper okay so this insect is a very serious pest of sugarcane in northern india where it is also occasionally feeds on other plants like maize millets rice barley oats sorghum bajra and wild grasses so this pest belongs to phylum orthopoda and uh, class insecta order hemiptera and we talk about the family it belongs to family lophophyidae and the genus is pyrilla and species is pyrilla purpusilla uh, so you can see here the adult worm uh, present on a leaf of sugarcane so if we uh, uh, you can see the taxonomic position so it's also commonly known as sugarcane plant hopper it's a plant hopper in the family lophophyidae it is native to asia where it feeds on grasses and other plants and is a major pest of sugarcane so here you have scientific classification dikh hai, kingdom animalia phylum orthopoda class insecta order amiptera infra order falcomorpha and uh, family lophophyidae genus pyrilla and species pyrilla purpusilla so if you talk about the biomix it's a potential pest occurring in an epidemic from in uttar pradesh and punjab that is the north uh, india northern india it is also seen in bihar and maharashtra uh, mainly it uh, the primary host is the sugar cane <coughs> but it <coughs> also infest other plants like wheat sorghum rice mango oats barley etc <coughs> so the adults are straw colored with two pairs of wings folded like a roof on the back the head protrudes uh, drawn from forward as a sort of uh, rostrum so we can see here <clears throat> the adult parpusilla has an elongated snout uh, uh, which has uh, we have seen in the diagram already that it has an elongated snout with piercing and sucking mouth parts because it sucks the sap of the leaves mainly the adult and nymph and a soft body with a yellowish brown color so males are normally larger than female because males have a wingspan of about 20 mm that is about 0.8 inch and females are slightly smaller averaging about 17 mm that is 0.7 inch if we talk about the eggs <clears throat> the eggs are white uh, white to yellowish green and about 2 mm in long so they mainly uh, passes through several larval forms which are called the nymphs so the nymphs are creamy white and each instar stage has long filaments projecting near the anus so it completes its life cycle like egg egg then nymph so there are uh, different uh, instars uh, instar limbs so there are normally uh, five instar nymphs uh, after completing these instar uh, instar stages then it will uh, motor uh, metamorphosis yeah we can say it can develop into an adult uh, parpusilla okay so if we talk about the distribution so the this parpusilla is native to south southern asia and southern asia like uh, afghanistan bangladesh cambodia china india indonesia laos myanmar nepal pakistan sri lanka thailand and vietnam and in india we have talk about that it is mainly found in the northern part of the uh, india <coughs> so you can see in this diagram uh, on the left side this is the uh, pyrilla nymph you can see the whitish or the pinkish color a uh, creamish color that is the pyrilla nymph with feeds on the sap of the uh, sugarcane leaves and you can see on the other side that is a adult 
so mainly this is a, a male adult which has a long uh, wings and you can see a rostrum like structure on the anterior part of the head <clears throat> So if we talk about the host beside sugarcane, the plant hopper has been found feeding on other host plants which I have already told you that is the maize, sorghum, pearl millet, barley, bitter melon, okra, vietnamese, lufa, watermelon, squash, rich uh, potato, uh, pea and Indian thorny bamboo. So these are the host plants on which this uh, particular pest also feeds or we can say the secondary host uh, now we will talk about the life cycle if you talk about the life cycle the female purposely lay small batches of eggs on sugar cane leaves mostly on the underside but sometimes on the upper surface so it lays about 600 to 800 pale greenish yellow eggs on the upper side of leaves in cluster in winters it mainly lays the eggs on the lower side to uh, cope up with the harsh conditions and during the winter so uh, the body is uh, the egg is covered over with a white white filamentous waxy material secreted by the female so to attach with the leaves the eggs are uh, mainly present in a waxy material filamentous material which is mainly secreted by the female so that the egg cannot detach from the leaves so uh, the newly hatched limbs are milky white in color with a pair of characteristic process of filaments covered by the wax if we talk about the hatching so the eggs are laid in four or five rows and are protected with filamentous or whitish wax protruded by the female the the, the eggs hatches after six to thirty days depending on the time of the year in summers it mainly hatches into six to seven days but in uh, winters uh, it takes a long time that is about 30 days so the nymph passes through five developmental stages that is before molting for a last time and becoming an adult so before before becoming an adult it uh, passes through different instar stages so totally the uh, this uh, pest has five instar stages through which it has to pass then the final uh, fifth instar larva will develop into a adult so breeding commences eight or more days later uh, after developing into adult it uh, the breeding will start after uh, eight to nine days so in Sri Lanka if we talk about in uh, Sri Lanka fecundity in the female is about 133 female lives longer than males but there is no overlap of generation because of the longevity of the adult is less than the time taken for nymphs to develop so normally the female it lives longer as compared to the male so in a period of one year it uh, it produces about four generation uh, so uh, in India fecundity ranges up to 880 and the lifespan ranges from 14 to 200 days depending on the climatological conditions now the uh, nymphal period that is uh, in which the nymph completes its five instar stages it lasts for about three months so in three months it completes its uh, uh, you know uh, the five instar stages that's why i have already told you that it takes uh, it gives four generation in uh, per year uh, approximately four generation so uh, the life cycle is completed in about two months so the life cycle that is from egg to name to adult it takes about two months so there are uh, three to four generation per year you can see in this diagram the life cycle of the uh, pyrilla pus uh, purpusilla so from egg the eggs are laid on the leaves upper side of the leaves and this egg will convert into the nim uh, which is a uh, whitish or pink uh, creamish in color so the nymph will develop into adult by passing through uh, several 
uh, stages that is the f you can see here first the name then the second is uh, denoted by the red arrow then third arrow then fourth arrow then fifth arrow after the fifth arrow the fifth instant nymph will develop into the adult which is ready to which after uh, maturation is ready to again produce egg and fertilize now the damage caused by this pest if we talk about the damage so both adults and nymphs sucks the sap from under surface of the leaves devitalize the plant so as i was saying the pest is found vigorously on the under surface of the leaves where they suck the plant sap that causes yellowing and eventually drying of leaves to jo nymph hai wo zyada डैमेज कॉज करता है एज़ कम्पेयर टू द एडल्ट बिकॉज द लिम्फ नीड्स मोर एनर्जी मोर न्यूट्रेंट्स टू डेवलप इन टू एडल्ट दैट्स वाई इट इज़ मोर इट कॉज मोर डैमेज एज़ कम्पेयर टू द एडल्ट सो मेनली इट सक्स द सैप मेनली द इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द यू नो फ्लोएम ऑफ द प्लांट सो इट एब्जॉर्ब द फ्लोएम एंड एब्जॉर्ब द न्यूट्रेंट ऑफ द प्लांट so in severe cases yeah uh, we can say that under low infestation yellow patches appear on the leaves so yellow uh, yellow patches are yellow spots can appear on the leaves due to the infestation of the pest so in severe cases the leaves dry up and the plant is stunted okay so the photosynthetic ability is reduced resulting in the reduction of sucrose content of the juice by up to 30 percent so due to the Uh, limitation in the photosynthesis or the decrease in the photosynthesis on the leaves the sucrose uh, percentage in that plant in the juice uh, or we can see in the phloem is decreased up to 30% so you can see due to the feeding sucrose percentage of juice is adversely affected then besides sucking sap they excrete honey dew that spreads on the leaves on which a black fungus develop so this hopper secrete a स्वीट सबस्टांस कॉल्ड हॉनी डिव ओके तो एक हनी डिव एक स्वीट स्वीट सबस्टांस है वो सिक्रीट करता है सो दैट कोट्स द लीव्स या इट सराउंड द लीव्स एंड दिस हनी लाइक स्ट्रक्चर और दिस स्वीट लाइक सबस्टांस अट्रैक्ट्स अ फंगस दैट इज़ अ ब्लैकिश फंगस विच और विच अगेन रिड्यूस द फोटो सिंथेटिक फोटो सिंथेसिस रिजल्टिंग इन ए यील्ड लोस ओके so adversely affecting the photosynthesis and ultimately the yield so in this slide uh, we can uh, can uh, see the proper damage caused by this insect that is the plant hopper feeds on its host by inserting its stylate on a leaf and sucking out the phloem sap excess fluid is excreted as honeydew i have already told you the sweet uh, sweet substance so th this is the excess fluid which is excreted as honeydew and suthi mold grows on it yeah or we can see the blackish fungus grow on this honeydew so the plant vigor is reduced through a loss of sap and the reduction in photosynthesis resulting from the suthi mold so brown patches or yellow patches appear on the leaves which may also become discolored the leaves may wilt later become desiccated and brown in india if you talk about india purpusilla has at least 16 species of natural invertebrate enemies some of these are parasitoids attacking the eggs and young limbs while other are predators and parasitoids of older limbs so this is the pest control so you can uh, in the next diagram you can see the damage caused by this uh, particular pest you can see the leaves are brownish in color so it had lost its photosynthetic capacity so the plants present uh, sickly and blighted in appearance development of sooty mold on the leaves swarm of these insects in all stages on the tender foliage fading and fading and drying up of the leaves can see you you can see in this diagram the damage caused by this particular pest so uh, if we talk about the control by which uh, this plant can be controlled so the best can be controlled by spraying 0.05% of para 
पेरेथनिन मेलाथाइन थायोडोंट फेनीथोरोथाइन और रोगर सो दीज आर सम केमिकल सो दीज आर द केमिकल मेथड बाई विच वी कैन कंट्रोल द पेस्ट सो इन दिस केमिकल मेथड वी यूज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पेराथाइन देन मेलाथाइन देन थायोडोन एंड फेनीथोरोथाइन और रोगर सो वी कैन ऑल्सो डस द प्लांट विथ टेन परसेंट अल्ड्रीन और डाई एल्ड्रीन विच ऑल्सो हेल्प टू कंट्रोल दिस पेस्ट सो दीज आर द केमिकल मेथड थ्रू विच वी कैन कंट्रोल द स्प्रेड एंड द डेमेज कॉजड बाय दिस पेस्ट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द बायोलॉजिकल पेस्ट कंट्रोल सो देर आर मेनी पेरासिटोइड्स एंड प्रिडेटर्स एंड सम फंगस विच कैन हेल्प टू स्टॉप दिस स्टॉप दिस पेस्ट फ्रॉम डेमेजिंग आवर क्रॉप्स सो वी हैव आई हैव मैंशन दियर हियर सम पेरासिटोइड्स सो एटी परसेंट of the uh, of the pyrilla parpusilla was killed by parasitoids and the remaining 20% by egg parasitoids and uh, the remaining 20% by a complex of nymphal and adult parasitoids so there are some parasitoids which attacks on the eggs as well as the nymph and the adult also so uh, if we talk about the egg parasites uh, parasitoids so there are tetrastichus pyrilli calino uh, neurus pyrilli on uh, onsitrus pyrilli or o pipilonus and ogonospis pyrilli so these are some egg parasite which causes the damage of the egg of uh, the, this particular pest and if we are talk about the nymphal parasitoids the, there are lestodrinus pyrilli pyro uh, pyrilozinos compactus then uh, chlorodrinus pilidus okay so these are some uh, egg parasitoids uh, so sorry nymphal parasitoids and there are some predators which uh, mainly feeds on the adults these are कोकोसिनेला सेप्टिमिक सेप्टेम पंक्टेटा कोकिनेला अनडिकेम पंक्टेटा काइलोमिन काइलोमिनिस सेक सेक्स मैक्यूलेटा ब्रूमस स्विटुरेलिस सो दीज आर द एडल्ट प्रीडेटर्स एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एक प्रीडेटर्स देयर आर निम्बुआ बेस पंक्टेटा एंड गोनियोप्टेरिक्स प्यूसेना सो दीज आर सम बायोलॉजिकल वे थ्रू विच वी कैन कंट्रोल द पेस्ट तो इन द इन द डायग्राम यू कैन सी आई हैव मैंशन द डिफरेंट पेरासिटोइड्स विच फीड्स ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर पेस्ट सो यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट दैट इज द हेमिनोपेटेरा एन साइटीडिया देन 